Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over a way to help you get more Twitch followers. And no, it's not follow for follow. We're going to go over how you can create a simple call to action button to play on your stream and why this is an important thing to have. Or you can just download the one that I've provided. It's up to you, but I'll go over how to download that later in the video. Motion graphics are essential in any part of marketing or social media today. Companies use motion graphics to grab your attention and make you, the consumer, act on something, whether that's visiting their website or purchasing an item. Your Twitch stream is no different. You're trying to get people to invest in your stream and the easiest and free way for them to invest in your stream is to follow your channel so that they can come back and watch you or at least come back and watch you more easily. Time for a shameless plug. This is a good time to remind you that I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at twitch.tv slash bbgun. And you should follow me on there so that you can hang out with us during a live stream. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. But just saying be sure to follow isn't enough. People respond more to visuals. Having something pop up on the screen and grab their attention will work a lot better than just saying something. That's why these call to action motion graphics have been so successful in the marketing world. I have created this simple call to action video for you to use on your channel. I'm gonna go over a very quick tutorial on how I made this motion graphic. So if you wanna follow along, you can play, pause, rewind, whatever you need to do to follow along in the tutorial and make your own. I have made this motion graphic in the Twitch branding colors, but if you wanna make it in your own channel brand colors, you can, whatever you wanna do is up to you. All right guys, so I'm gonna keep this tutorial as quick as possible. So I started off with a purple box here that I went down to the rectangle path, changed the roundness to 45. So we just have that purple box. And then on top of that, we have a white heart and some white text that says follow. Again, this just matches the follow button on the Twitch page as of, as of the date of this video. So a little over a second and a half in, I have it switched. So this is the point where the mouse is going to come up and click the button. So at this point, the box changes to a gray box, which you can see is a layer right here that I have start at this point. It's the same size, shape, everything as the purple box. So it changes to the gray. The heart icon, the white heart icon actually disappears and a off white heart icon zooms in to the exact same spot that the white heart icon was. Now I made, I made this match the Twitch follow button as much as I could because in my mind, like, Visually seeing it on the screen match the button that is actually shown on your Twitch page is just an extra little nudge to the person like, hey, this is what you should be doing. You should be hitting this purple button. Okay. So right here, I have the gray box actually start to slide in and I added another, I copied the gray box. I copied the big gray rectangle up here and I renamed it mask. I set an alpha track mat on the follow text to this mask layer and then i set a parent to the gray box so that any changes i made to the gray box layer down here would be made to the mask layer as well i have it change size in the x direction so that it seemingly swipes that text off i also added a slight fade out to that text so as you, as you see this box come in, the text slowly starts to fade away while it's also seemingly being wiped away. And then you end up with just this gray square with an off-white heart, just like you see on the Twitch page. Now the thing I like about this is that it, the overall animation doesn't like go to the center of the screen. It matches what happens on the Twitch page where everything is centered around the heart icon. The box is actually shrinking down around the heart icon and the heart is staying in the same spot. So then what I did was I, I made this its own composition and then I added it to a separate composition here. So what happens in this composition is I have the, I have the follow button composition actually like zoom into the page. So this is your entry animation. Whenever you play this video, it's going to zoom in. And then I added this mouse icon that is actually going to come up and then it clicks it gets a little smaller when it clicks so you just reduce the scale there as it clicks and that's right when the color changes on the other on the other composition so all you have to do is add a little scale keyframe here you're gonna have your main size scale here shrink down scale at this keyframe and then back up to your main size scale on that icon so that's all that's how you do that little 
clicking action. And then just add more keyframes to the position so that you can see you can see the path that the mouse goes on here. So it just comes onto the screen, clicks, color changes, mouse disappears, and then the rest of the animation happens to the actual follow button itself. And then I just added a slide down and fade out animation as an exit animation for the entire composition. So when you play it, it just looks like this. There are several ways that you can set up this button to play in OBS on your stream. Two ways that we're going to cover in this video are by hotkeying it, or in our case, setting it up on the stream deck, but you could also do a keyboard shortcut in OBS. The second way is by looping the video every five minutes or so. So if you want to combine the motion graphic with a verbal call to action, then hotkeying it is the way that you should go. But if you prefer to just have the motion graphic periodically remind people to follow your channel by popping up on screen, grabbing their attention, without you actually like having to think about it too much, then setting up a looping option is the best way for you to go. So first, we're gonna go over how to hotkey it, and then we're going to go over how to set it up to loop every five minutes or so via stream elements. Creating a hotkey on your stream deck for this call to action button is actually very easy. All you have to do is create a new multi-action switch. I'm just gonna click and drag it here. So the first thing you wanna do is turn the source on in OBS. So I'm just gonna title this appropriately. Make sure that this option is set to activate and you're gonna select your scene. The source is going to be the follower button animation is what I have it named on mine. So that's all you need there. And then you're gonna add a delay. So this video is um, about five seconds long. So I'm gonna set the delay to 500 milliseconds. Then what you wanna do is turn the same source off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, paste it, and then just change it to deactivate and then change the title to off. So what's gonna happen is when you press this button, first it's going to activate your source file, which is the call to action video. And then after a five second delay, it's going to turn that video off. The reason that you want to deactivate the source after though is because then next time you push this button, it'll work. Here's an example of what pushing the button on your stream deck will look like on your stream. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to set up this call to action overlay inside stream elements to actually play as a looping video every five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you wanna set it to. So you're gonna make a composition that is 540 by 270 pixels. That just matches the size of the video file that I have provided. Add a widget. You're gonna to go to static slash custom and then add an asset rotator slash slideshow. You're gonna click on the widget itself here, position, size, and style, make it match the composition size, 540 by 270, and then center the widget. That way it fills the entire thing correctly. Back in your settings tab here, you're going to add an asset, go to your video files and submit the Twitch follow call to action video file. So now you see that it's actually going to just keep playing continuously. It's going to loop every five seconds or whatever, however long the video file is exactly. So what you want to do is add an iteration pause. I'm going to make it 10 seconds for the sake of this video. So now when the video stops playing, it's going to pause for 10 seconds before it plays the file again. So this is what you will set to 300 seconds for five minutes, 600 seconds for 10 minutes or whatever you want your delay to be. And then we can copy the overlay URL up here. All right, so to add your follow call to action as a source in OBS, you're going to click here on the add source button, add a browser, and call it follow call to action, click okay. You're gonna paste the URL that you copied from stream elements here, set your width to match your composition size in stream elements, 540 by 270, shut down source when not visible, um, you can set this to refresh browser when scene becomes active if you want. I usually do, and then click OK. You can size this down however you want, and then every 10 seconds, since that's what we currently have it set to, that animation is going to play. If you found this video helpful in any way, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when I post more content for you all. I have really been enjoying doing these free design videos for you, so I hope that you've enjoyed them. And I hope have gotten some good quality out of them. Quality out of them? Some good content out of them. If you want to download my call to action video that I made, it is completely free for you to download and use on your stream. I will provide a Dropbox link in the description below for you, for
for you to download my video. If you end up making your own call to action by following along with this video, then please let me know. I'd love to see it. You can at me on Twitter or on Instagram and just show me your designs. I would love to see them. Speaking of which, you should follow me on Twitter and Instagram at it's bbgun. Thanks. I'll put all my social media links down in the description below. I also post all the free designs that I've made for you guys in my Discord under the Free Designs channel. I'll put a link to the Discord down in the description below as well. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.